what, what, what. So, boom. Yeah, no points for guessing what are we going to play tonight. Not very random, lah. This game is probably like what? Um, I don't know. It's older than any of us, I think. No, lah, no, lah. Uh, this game came out first uh, 10, 12 years ago. Yeah, I think some of you would remember what this game is. Uh, it's Zuma Deluxe. Yes, this is the frog. Uh, actually, this is Zuma's Revenge, the second version. <laughs> Go figure! <laughs> Alright, yeah! There's always a time to actually play something retro, retro. And, and yeah, so I decided to, you know, play something a little bit more blast from the past. I think sometimes, I mean, being a, in a very extended lockdown period, like now, in Malaysia, alright? It's, it's like, you sort of need to slow down, look back a bit and find some entertainment, you know? Alright, especially those of you who probably don't feel the passage of time already. I think it's probably a good time to, you know, um, look back a bit in the brief point of history of time or for the good times, the good moments and the good memories, yeah? Yeah, that's what I think so too. So I went around digging up a few goodies to play. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that I remember, this was before, way before the pandemic, during my really, really younger days. Um, yeah, I was hopelessly, I can say hopelessly, the word hopelessly is true. Hopelessly addicted to this game. Hopelessly. In fact, it was such a thing in my house at that time. My mom was playing this game as well. So it's like, you know, we've, we've been constantly fighting who gets the highest score. Yeah, this this was this was before the pandemic when when you know I was just you know just starting off in, in my career and yeah yeah so so it's like uh, in the same house and all you know and, and at that time I think it was rage it was a total rage when when people play you know casual games for fun and popcat games is naturally the biggest name in the casual game industry if you ever played games during my time I think that's probably like like what you guys say, uh, EA and uh, Ubisoft today. Yeah, these are triple A titles. But you know, during our time, if you really wanted to just have a quick fix of five, ten minutes, this is the game to go to. Yeah. So what's up with Zuma's Revenge for me? Um, I played this uh, the original game a long, long time ago on another PC lah. Huh? So it was a uh, ancient ancient time ago and uh yeah uh, so i found this game again on uh, steam and steam actually has a summer sale all right it's on the summer sale and it's only what two ringgit and 40 cents i know technically popcat has already been bought over by electronic arts a long time ago and they are not really in business anymore but i think it's still worth um you know um, paying for the game lah. <laughs> okay, right. I know some of you are probably looking at me. Ha, ah, we still pay for these kind of games, ah? Yeah, come on, lah, guys. Okay, you if you know the effort that's gone into the graphics, the mechanics. I mean, they are like the OG of shooter games. I guess. I think. I mean, if you you go around the internet and you just type uh, Zuma online browser, you probably see a lot of variations of the of the same game. If you're really you know thirsting and, and a little bit uh, craving for this kind of game, but doesn't matter what graphic they use go ahead and look up the internet there's plenty of it all right but again i'm a fan of the og and i always you know go for the original there's nothing that beats the original you know so you just you know, sometimes just need to take a moment to appreciate la you know okay so yeah uh, i'm playing it again um, so yeah i'm trying to unlock a challenge mode and all the other modes Played this game, huh? so uh, yes, forgive me, lah. Huh? I'm just a little bit slow, slow and easy, man. Slow and easy. Elders tell of a lost city in the jungle where a stone demon takes the heads of men. None who go ever return. Yeah. So, boss battle. Yeah. Do you have fight in you? Shoot me if you dare. <laughs> yeah, as you say, let's shoot. Enough talk. You dead? How dare you? Being of the balls. <laughs> Little 
Mr. Frog has called the lawyer. Who you? Flying stars, yeah. Could have been a perfect high score. You broke my mouth, my tongue's hanging out like ah. My four brothers will avenge my tongue. Boss one, down, 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 yoohoo! Boss level two, oh, the witch doctor, yeah. The shaman controlled two slave tikis who guarded him day and night. So long as they stood, nothing could harm him. Really? My balls will. <laughs> oh man, okay. Check out this. Uh, super guns. Force field thingy. I mean, you you've got to kill the the idols to get rid of the force field. That's what it means. Okay, and don't get zapped. Time shot. Uga! With a helping more Booga sauce. My slave Tiki is completely flopped on the job. Where did all my magic go? Oh, hey. You know what? Of all the levels, right? Any lane that is a little bit like sharp, uh, you know, has sharp corners, this is the one that is uh, quite challenging. Because. You, you would think you're shooting in the right direction, but actually it doesn't hit. You know? <laughs> the ball just somehow, you know, swerves a bit and then you just missed it. Yeah, it's ultimate fear. Uh, if, you, if you ask me, curved lanes is actually much easier. <laughs> in. Yeah, see, see, see what I mean? It's so easy to get it wrong. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's angled ones? Oh my god, it's a nightmare. Uh, what, what, what? Oh. Number three for tonight. Yeah. Baron Digo. Hmm. Okay, no arrow could pierce his stony hide, but even so, wicked Baron Digo cut up his soul and hid it in the rib cages of his victims. Interesting. So you can't hurt him directly, but you've got to probably find another way to hurt him. Which I don't remember actually. Boss battle number three, yay! Let me try and figure out. Uh. Remember, this guy is a bit different. Ah, oh, yes. It changes the, the colors of the balls. God, <laughs> so cute. You beat me so hard, I forgot my own name, and I was pretty attached to it too. 
someday, some way, I will make you pay. Waku indeed. Alright. So far. Ah, yes. Stagnant pond. Jumpy, jumpy level. Try to shoot at the curve, the more mistakes I make. <laughs> no worries, guys. There's always, always, always a way to work around this. Yo, 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 yo! Kolo Kamari! Uh, Kolo Kamari? Kalamari? Oh my god, I'm making myself hungry. Anyway, Mosquito God of Pestilence? Hmm. I wish I can remember him, but I can't. The vermin of the insect god drain the blood and life of their prey. Only a great blast of fire and noise could drive the demon away. Hmm. Boss battle! Go! Uh, the sound of insects are morning. Ah... Holy cow! <laughs> My boss will become slow? That's not fair! Damn it! Oh my god! <laughs> this is crazy! I forgot about him! Oh man! Okay, I'm supposed to... Aim for the explosive balls, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 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 yeah. It seems to work if I aim it that way. Holy cow! Apani! Him. I threw every insect in the book of the <laughs> But you exploded me into no time flat. Beat it, bro. Go swimming, why don't you? Leafwa, <laughs> wak waku. I don't know what kind of language is that, but it's fun. Yeah, zone 5! I'm the sea grotto. Wow, nice. The underwater lava. Yes, um, welcome to level 41, where we are very, very welcomed with a new colour. Yes, the new colour is grey, or white. I don't know what colour you call it, I think it's, it's white or grey. Yeah, but it's definitely a new colour. Mm, yep, something that is going to definitely kill the strategy of uh, trying to clear one colour at a time. Yeah. Still 
able to make it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Obviously, I'm not gonna win this. <laughs> let me think, let me think, let me think. It's curved like this. Okay. I'm gonna put my sights a bit. Yeah. It's wearing me down, huh? gonna lose this. Okay, Shephaluka, Tentacle Reaper of the Deep. The inky darkness and shields of power hide the monster's secret weakness, his soft and fleshy underside. Okay, right. Boss number five. Mm -hmm. Use the bomb to bomb off the shields, which is kind of fantastic. Okay. Oof. Ah, so when you bomb the side of the shield, you can probably stick a ball in there. <laughs> I really let myself down. Next time I'll be angrier. Oh, oh well, I have fun dying on the welcome. Oh, this is awesome. Alright, yes! Zone 6! The last zone. Great. <laughs> I'm speechless. I am so speechless. It really depends on luck. I have no idea, guys. What do you think? Don't make my life miserable. Ah. Last two lives. I'm sweating now, man. I'm sweating. Last life. If I can't make it through this one, I'm gonna have to actually try it somewhere and sometime else. But at least, at least we know that a single run, you probably be able to get through to, I don't know, level 54 or so before you are very, very stuck as to how to get past this level. But again, we will li leave the triumphant uh, ending, alright, um, in the next stream, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you can see I'm already giving up, I'm, I'm already in my last life, and I was like, you know, I was dying so easily and so fast. I'm like, okay, this is, I don't know, the chances of me getting past this level here in this round, in this life, it's 
good. Very, very good. I'm already, you know, like what? Five minutes away from a game over? But yeah. Okay, let me just carefully. Uh, you know, shoot out some balls. For good measure. That would help. Continue game from last postcard, continue or main menu. Oh god. Probably I need to pray more to the streaming gods for luck, I don't know. But hey, you know, let's go to the main menu and let's check out what I unlocked. Yeah, so I've unlocked the challenge mode and I also probably unlocked the frog gauntlet as well. Alright. Uh, there's also a Pounce Pounding Replay Through Adventure Mode. I think this is the time challenge. Uh, just now the adventure thing was uh, was just the core levels. And then all these are like the add-on levels. You, you get what I mean. Um, but yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, this is Popcap's Zuma's Revenge. 